What's up everybody? I wanted to show you my very first mural block party. Take a look. This is my very first mural in Wynwood. So right now it's not open to the public, so you're getting kind of a uh, first-hand view of it. As you can see, my signature stuffed animal pile series. I can't wait to do another one of these. After going through this process the first time, I realized how much I loved it and uh, would love, love to do another one. I created it as kind of its, um, its own series. It's very much, you know, my work stuffed animal pile, but I wanted to create it in this um, more illustrative style with these huge, really uh, beautiful blocks of color. One of the really cool things we're doing is we're gonna name each character and we're gonna have different people name each character and give them little stories as well. So for example, this is Blueberry, B-L-U-E-B-E-A-R-R-Y. We're gonna name them all. And so in total, there are 30 different stuffed animals on this. But it's great to do murals because now a lot more people get to enjoy my work. Uh, so eventually, this whole area in here will be an open courtyard uh, with some shops and restaurants. Right now it's very much under construction as you can see, but eventually people will be able to come in here anytime uh, during the day and get to sit here and enjoy the mural. There's also a couple uh, ah, really special characters in here. This is actually Paya. This is from one of my very first uh, single stuffed animals. This was Paya, which is a, a very special piece to me. People always ask me what my favorite one is. I don't know if I could pick a favorite because uh, I love them all. They're all kind of special and unique in their own way. But one of the ones I think I'm gonna name, so it's the one with my very colorful signature on it. It also happens to be the biggest one in here. Uh, I think I may call them Huckleberry. So where I'm from, Washington, Huckleberries were a huge, it was like, uh, Every year was like Huckleberry season. So we had Huckleberry jam, just a big part of my childhood, but uh, happens to be Huckleberry color. My signature signature, my very colorful signature. Should be very easy to see who uh, painted this. The painting process took about seven days, uh, which people find uh, to be really, really quick, which it is. The whole planning and leading up and the creation of the original image. So I originally created this uh, in a digital format. That whole process, along with getting the color palette, took about a month. So a lot of the work was done uh, beforehand. A lot of the creation was done beforehand. So you have the yellow, we'll call it the medium dark yellow and the dark yellow. So this was all done with uh, Montana 94 Montana gold spray paint. Coming up with the color palette is what actually on site, which took a really long time, was to make sure that the gradients uh, worked and flowed really well. So if you're in Wynwood, make sure to come check out the mural. Uh, I believe the building's gonna be done in January or February. Don't miss it.